All right, in this video today, I'm going to show y'all what happens. I'm making an omelet today. I'm going to show you what happens when you want to do a two egg omelet and you do it in a pan that's too big. Then I'll show you what happens when you do it in the right size pan. For a pan this size, you should do probably a four egg omelet, three or four egg omelet. What happens is your egg spreads out too thin, so you can't flip it. And this one is the perfect size right here. I think this is probably a, a six inch. This is probably an eight or a 10 inch. So, uh, so it, the, the egg just tears when you're trying to flip it. It just tears when you try to uh -huh. flip it because it's so thin especially with all of your fixings in it. So, but I'm going to demonstrate both of these today. How one works, one 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 works, one does it. So, y'all stay tuned and I'll show y'all how all this is going to come about. Sometimes I feel like an omelet. <laughs> is that what this is? Sometimes you feel like a nut. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rose. This is not supposed to be personal. Good morning. I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry. And today we're just going to, I didn't put anything on yesterday. It's been a really busy week. So, and I've got a Valentine's party today. And <clears throat> so I'm just doing something really quick, really simple, really easy. Uh, you can make it as complicated as you want. You can make it as simple and easy. And mine is simple and easy this morning. And it's just going to be an omelet. It's going to be a breakfast omelet. You can do lunch omelets. You can do, uh, so we call it supper. Some people, most people call it dinner. Uh, but we're using like breakfast sausage today that I've already browned up. You can use chicken. You can use uh, ground turkey. You can use uh, whatever meat that you want to put in yours. And you can make it, you can put any, you can put mushrooms, you can put whatever you want. But today, all that's going in mine is peppers, onions, sausage, eggs, cheese, and tomatoes. I'm going to put a few tomatoes over it. If I had fresh tomatoes, I would use them. But all I had was a can of diced tomatoes. And I have uh, drained them really, really well. So I'm going to use those just to put over the top. But fresh tomatoes is really what you want. But this was just something I did uh, off the cuff. I didn't have any uh, of my uh, fresh tomatoes. So I'm doing the best I can with what I got. Now I cut, this is just a medium onion. I cut it in half. Then I sliced it through two times. And now I'm just going to cut it in little bitty dices. Now, if you want to, whenever you brown your sausage, your chicken, your ground beef, you can make these taco omelets. You can make these, you could use ground beef, put taco seasoning in them, just whatever you want. Now, I'm going to put my onions and my peppers in my omelet raw. But if you wanted yours cooked, you when you cook your sausage or when you cook your uh your ground beef or your chicken or whatever you can cook your peppers and your onions in with it so all right and i'm going to use a little half and half let me give y'all a little <clears throat> hint this is all they had in the grocery store was fat free half and half when roy went the other day so what i did because i like full fat uh, half and half. I took a can after I had used out a little bit in my coffee. I took a can of evaporated milk, poured it in here, and I made it like full fat. So that's just a little hint for y'all that you can do. All right, I've got my sausage browned, I've got my onions and my peppers cut up. I'm not going to need that now. This is going to be really simple. I'm just going to crack. And I think you want a two egg omelet or a three egg omelet, baby. I want a two egg omelet and I want it uh, to be uh, taco if you've got taco seed. Okay. Or sweet preacher if you don't have the taco seed. I do have taco. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to put a little bit of. Um, 
just a little bit of half and half. Now I'm going to take my whisk and I'm going to whisk this up really well. You want garlic in it? Yep. Okay. And you want to beat air into this. So it's going to take a few minutes because you want it to be fluffy. If we had dry roasted tomatoes, that would be good in here too. Sun dried tomatoes, yeah, yes, it would. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. I love those things. Well, I've got some in the fridge. Already so, chopped up? You don't have to open them they, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll get some out. Okay. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in his. Just a little bit, not much. All right, let me get my taco seasoning. All right, this is my homemade taco seasoning. It's on my channel. So all you got to do is go to Grandma Rose's Open Pantry on YouTube. And uh, look up taco seasoning mix, and it'll be there. I've got chili seasoning mix on there. All right. I think that'll be enough. All right. Since you want sun-dried tomatoes, honey, I'm on. Just give me a minute. I'm on. Get them out of the refrigerator, and I'm going to put them in with the eggs. Okay. Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay, you got the sun-dried tomatoes? I've got sun-dried tomatoes now. You can get them dry or you can get them in oil. These are in oil. Uh, so I had them in the refrigerator. I had to put them in the microwave just to because uh, they had cold oil on top. Now, they, these are deep purples. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. your others are. Your dried ones are, too. Mm -hmm. And the ones I dried in the uh, my air fryer were. And Roy wants mushrooms. So I'm going, I've just got little canned mushrooms. I've showed y'all before. They're the stems and the, and the pieces. So I'm just going to cut them. You want it over your omelet or you want it inside your omelet? Inside will be fine with me. Okay. All right. All right. So we're going to do, this is turning out not to be simple. This is, Roy's is complicated. <laughs> But that's okay, because you can do it any way you want to. Now, I may put sun-dried tomatoes in mine. I'm not sure. Uh, you love sun-dried tomatoes. I love sun-dried tomatoes. Yes, I do. Yep, that was a good idea, honey. Thank Confess, you. you just didn't think about it. No, I did not. Mm -mm. Right. I didn't. No. All right. Now, let me put my, uh, which one did I use for my egg? That's my egg. All right. Put this over there. I'm going to put my mushrooms and my sun-dried tomatoes in here. That goes in Roy's. Okay. Get my mess up here. Y'all, I still don't have a kitchen faucet. I'm still doing like they did in the old days. I got water in pots, but it's supposed to be here tomorrow. But it's good for her humility. There was a problem with the, the one other one I ordered. So, uh... So I had to order another one this morning, and it'll be here tomorrow. So, yeah. hopefully. It humbles you. <laughs> I don't need to be quite that humble. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you thankful when you finally get some running water again. I've got a, a little lard in my uh, skillet back here, and I'm going to turn it on. It's on like three, because I want to cook this slow. All right, let me beat some more air in these eggs. Honey, this is a lot of stuff to go into two eggs. It's all right. <laughs> Royal, eat it. We'll see if I can get it turned. Now, that, that's a different issue. Okay. If we don't get it turned, we're going to have a, uh, we, we'll have what we call a deconstructed omelet skillet omelet. where we stir it all together. <laughs> it may look like a deconstructed omelet. Yeah, that's what we'll call it, deconstructed omelet. All right, and in here we have taco seasoning. We have garlic, uh, pepper, just a little bit of pepper, a uh, little bit of salt. We're going to put mushrooms, sun-dried tomatoes, peppers, and onions. Ooh. Okay. I hope you put two eggs. It's going to take two it's eggs two to stick eggs. all that together, yeah, isn't it? It's two, yeah. All right. You want to come over here, baby? I can. 
Okay. Now then. I hope they don't stick in this pan. That's all I can say. If they do, like I say, we're going to have a deconstructed omelet. So you're, right. you're too busy this morning to uh, Ooh, redo, aren't you, yes, baby? Yes, I am. Well, I guess they'll see it either way, won't they, baby? <laughs> whether it's deconstructed <laughs> or whether it's an omelet. Yep. Okay, I'm just rolling this around in my pan. Now make sure you have a clean pan so it doesn't stick. And this way, you get all that egg in the middle when you roll it around like that. It starts getting done. Now, I'm sure all of y'all know how to make an omelet a lot better than I do. Okay. All right. All right. Now, I'm going to add my, some of my onions. Some of my red peppers. Now, like I say, you can you can saute the saute these before you put them in if you want to. That's just up to you. All right. Now I'm gonna put some mushrooms, sun dried tomatoes. Oh, this is gonna look good, honey, if I can get it turned. Listen, I never refuse to eat something good because it hadn't been turned perfectly. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to put some of my sausage that I have cooked. And it doesn't take a lot because you got a lot going on here. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, now. Oh, I need to put some cheese. Now, I have got, you want pepper jack and cheddar? Well, uh, it doesn't matter. It'll all be good. Okay. Any of it, either way. I don't like cheddar on eggs that's fine. That's so fine. That's uh, fine. so i i did my pepper jack all right now i'm gonna turn it up just a little bit and see if i can get it turned here i know there's a way to do it but that ain't it okay it's too thin mm -hmm. that's okay that's all right. Hey, hey, that's looking pretty good right there. Oh, for a deconstructed. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, this is what happens in the kitchen. So, <laughs> get you a, a little small. If you're going to do three eggs, this is a good size. But if you're going to only do two, this is uh, this pan is just a little bit too big. But that's all right. That's all right. When I get through with it, you're not even going to know that it tore up. So. Well, can we mix, just mix up a fresh egg and pour on the top and let it cure? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> you, can't, you just can't repair it, can no. you? No. All right, y'all. I'm changing the name of this. It's the deconstructed omelet, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. I have a wider spatula that I could use, but uh, I couldn't find it this morning. I think I put it up somewhere. I started to ask if you want me to go get that wide spatula that I have at the grill. No, mm -mm, no. But the real issue was the size of the pan and the, the number of eggs. The size of the pan, yeah. And if you really are good, you can flip your, take your pan, flip your egg over, make a really, really mm -hmm. pretty omelet. But that's for a professional. Y'all hold on. Is it am I on? Yeah, you're on. <laughs> I don't know whether you've got anybody watching or not. But, okay, y'all. But you're on. This is my deconstructed omelet. Now let me show you something. I'm gonna put a little bit more cheese on it, like this, and like this. And I'm going to put just a few of these tomatoes I've got back here. Just a few. Oh, you're not going to be able to tell. And you won't be able to tell that it's deconstructed. <laughs> Y'all look at there. <laughs> we can, hey, name this. How to fix a deconstructed uh, 
Almond. That's what the name Y'all of this video is. Y'all look at that. See how pretty? <laughs> Y'all see how pretty that is? Never huh? let it be said. I can't take something that didn't work out and make it really pretty and good. So, <laughs> well, If you can video the rest of this by yourself, I'll start on mine. <laughs> that looks good. I'm going to make mine. Y'all, but I'm going to let Roy taste of this one first. So, are you presentable, honey? I don't. You are. Yeah, I've got you a are. Shirt. You're, you're okay. No, you're okay. All right. I'm going to get him a fork and I'm going to let him taste of this to y'all. You let you let me know how that also tastes. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> but hey, things go wrong in the kitchen, and when they do, you make the best of it. You laugh. And you make the best of it. And I'm not the best at making omelets, but I do try. So, is it good? It's delicious. Is it? It is delicious. Okay. Well, that's all that matters. Mm. It's not the way it looks. It's how it eats. Mm. Okay, y'all. Y'all saw my deconstructed omelet a while ago. Well... <laughs> I changed pans. I got a smaller pan because the egg, if it had been a four egg omelet, it'd have been good. But, uh. Well, I didn't know before. I've never known before personally that it, that the size of the pan and the number yeah, of eggs. Yeah, because your egg spreads out so mm -hmm. thin. Yeah. So I'm hoping that this is going to work, that I can get this because the egg is thicker in this one. So. To do an omelet, you, you pretty much have to have the right size pan. All right, we got. So, uh, I've got sun dried tomatoes. I do not have mushrooms in mine. I've got everything in mine except the mushrooms, and I did not put garlic, nor uh, did I put my, uh, taco seasoning in mine. See how thick, much thicker that is? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm letting my egg run to the side. So it will cook, okay, because you want all that egg to cook. Now mine's going to be a lot thicker than Roy's, if it works. If it doesn't, you'll see another deconstructed omelet. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn it down a little bit to three. All right, now, that is what an omelet is supposed to look like, y'all, right there. You need the right size pan, because if you spread your, uh, if you spread your egg too thin, you're not going to be able to flip it. So, this morning, I gave you an omelet in the right size pan, and one in one that was too big, so, but I'm sure all you out there that make omelets, y'all know exactly how to do it. All right, I'm going to flip this over one time. Okay, now I'm going to get me a plate. All right, give that egg in the middle a little bit longer to cook, but I'm going to take turn my burner off. All right, y'all. That's my omelet. All I'm going to put on mine is a little, I'm going to put a few of these, I don't want cheddar cheese. I'm going to put a little bit of my pepper jack cheese. Just a little bit. All right. And I'm going to put a few of my diced tomatoes that I got out of the can. And I'm going to put a little bit more of my red peppers on it because I like raw peppers on mine. And there's a few more onions here. You dress yours up. You do yours ever which way you want to. But this is my omelet right here. It's just sausage, peppers, onions, sun-dried tomato. That's my omelet. Ooh. Okay. And see how it is. 
It's got all the good stuff I love in it. Look at that. Mm, can you see it, honey? Perfect. Oh, yeah. it. Perfect. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That is delicious. Y'all make your omelet. Whether it's for breakfast. Mm. I put a little guy in. I didn't have any hot sausage. So I put just a little bit of cayenne pepper in my sausage that I scrambled, that I browned back here. Mm. It's good. So this is my omelet. This is the way you make an omelet. <laughs> Roy's is deconstructed. Mine is a real omelet. See y'all next time.